This short video explains the different level of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio, and how they are classified into categories like quantitative data and qualitative data. So please watch this video till the end. So before we understand the different level of measurement, let us first understand what do we mean by data. So data is a collection of facts such as the values of the measurement or the information which can be used for the purpose of analysis. To analyze and make decisions about certain business like sales or a target, we need to collect data. The source of data can be either be a primary data or a secondary data. So primary data are the real-time first-hand data collected from the surveys, questionnaires, experiments, observations or any interviews. While the secondary data is the data that uses the already available information. So it can be from the books, the journals, the brochures or anything information that is available on the Google for research. Now we can classify the data broadly into two categories. One is the quantitative data, another is the qualitative data. Under quantitative, we have discrete and continuous type of data. So discrete data can only take discrete values or things that can be counted in a whole number. So those values cannot be subdivided meaningfully. Like if you take example, like we have three hats here of green, red and blue. So that is the total number of hat is three. So we cannot break this into two and a half or one and a half. Another example could be the number of students in the class. Now the continuous scale uh, is the data that we can calculate. So it could be something which you can measure. Like in this case, the measurement is coming as 27.75. Or if you are measuring the temperature, that is also in the continuous scale. If we talk about qualitative data, that is basically the categorical data. So under categorical, like say if we have the male and the female categories or the types or the color of the hat, so that is the categories in which we can divide our data. Another example, let's take to understand the difference. Let's say we have this dog. If we talk about the difference between qualitative and quantitative, so let's start with qualitative first. So he is brown and black in color. So that is the quality that we are of data that we are collecting. He has long hair and probably a lot of energy. So that is the qualitative data that we are collecting here. In terms of quantitative, like he has four legs, he has a one tail, and that is the discrete data. Now, if I talk about continuous data, it could be his weight and the height. So that is the how we categorize discrete data, continuous data under quantitative, and categorical data under qualitative. In statistics, we have four levels of measurement, starting from nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. These are also called the scale of measurement, which tells us how precisely the variables are recorded. Each scale is an incremental level, starting from nominal, which is the first level of measurement. Then we have the ordinal, which is the second level of measurement. Interval is the third level of measurement and the finally is the ratio which is the fourth level of measurement. So these level define which statistical test type to be used. Now let us see each of these level one by one in, in more detail with some relevant examples. Let's start with the first level of measurement, nominal. This is probably the simplest of the four level of measurement which describes a variable that do not follow a natural order or ranking. All of these scales are mutually exclusive. That means there is no overlap here. 
Nominal scale is a naming scale where the variables are simply named or labeled without any specific order and it cannot be ordered or measured. Nominal data can be qualitative and qualitative both. For instance, a customer survey it was asked which brand of smartphone do you prefer? An Apple phone, a Samsung or a Nokia? In this case, only the names of the brand are significant for researchers, not any order of the preference. Other type of example could be collecting what is your gender, male or female. So we are specifying the category here, not the order. Or where do you live, in subs, in city or a town. So these are some of the examples. So other examples could be the type of pet you own, dog, cat, fish, type of a house. So these are some of the nominal examples. The second level of measurement is the ordinal scale. Ordinal sound similar to the order which follows a natural order which is exactly the purpose of this scale due to which there is no fixed start or true zero. Ordinal scale is one where the order definitely matters but not the difference between the values. Ordinal scale can be presented in a tabular or a graphical form. It is exactly like the nominal scale but with specific orders. Let's take an example here. Uh, the best could be the hot, hotter or hottest, cold. So these are like we have a definite order here with some no nominal features. Or how satisfied are you with a service like strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree or strongly disagree. So in both these cases, you will see there is some specific natural order here, like strongly agree and agree, uh, neutral and disagree. So it follows a natural order, but the difference between the values is not known here. The third level of measurement is the interval scale. So interval in itself means the space in between, which is the important thing to remember. Like interval scales do not only tell us about the order, but also about the values between each item. So interval scale contain all the properties of ordinal scale in addition to which it offers a calculation of the difference between the particular values. So interval scale are numerical scales in which we both know the order and the exact difference between the values. But the only drawback that it have is that there is no predefined starting point or true zero value. The classical examples is the Celsius temperature scale where the difference between each value is same. Like for example, the difference between 20 degree and 30 degree is 10 degree. And same is the difference between 60 degree and 70 degree, that is 10 degree. So in this case, 10 degree plus 10 degree is equal to 20 degree. So there is no problem here. But 20 degree is not as hot as the 10 degree. So apart from temperature scale, the time and the calendar years that we have also follow the interval scale. The fourth or the final level of measurement is the ratio scale. So ratio are basically the ultimate nirvanas when it comes to data measurement scale because they do not only tell us about the order but also tell us about the exact difference between the values and also have an absolute zero. So we have three things here, the order, the exact difference between the values and the absolute zero. Ratio scale is defined as a variable which not only produce the order of variable but also makes the meaningful difference between the variables. A ratio variable has all the properties of an interval variable and also has a clear definition of absolute zero. 
so if the interval scale are amazing but they do not have the uh, absolute zero which is why the ratio scale come into picture very good examples of ratio scale include like height weight and the length measurement so example like uh, if we are measuring the height of two people one with uh, three feet and one with six feet so we have all the properties here which is exactly same as the interval scale except the zero for example the weight of zero does not exist but the age of zero also does not exist on the other hand when you talk about the temperature which is not in ratio scale but zero exist like zero at zero degree it is a freezing point so we have this age height and weight which are typical examples of ratio let's do a quick summary uh, the first characteristics that we have is the measure of central tendency under nominal it would be mode ordinal mode and median interval we can have the mode median and arithmetic mean ratio we can have the mode median arithmetic mean and geometric mean the difference between the variables can be evaluated in nominal it is not possible even in the ordinal interval you can evaluate in ratio yes addition and subtraction of variables which is not possible in nominal ordinal interval and ratio it is possible multiplication and division of variables not possible in nominal ordinal in interval and ratio it is possible last is the absolute zero which is not possible in nominal ordinal and interval but is possible only in the ratio so i think we have covered what is nominal ordinal interval and ratio let's do a quick check to understand the concept read these questions and you can leave your answers in the comment section below so if we have to find out the iq of 10 people now what level of measurement that would be nominal ordinal interval and ratio second question could be list of popular video games determine the level of measurement nominal ordinal interval and ratio and third age of students nominal ordinal interval and ratio so with this given information just try to figure out what is the level of measurement for all these three questions and you can leave your answers or comments in the comment section below so that is all i have on this video if you like it click here to subscribe do hit the like button as well share this video with all your friends on different social media platforms and if you have any specific sessions or topic for my next video you can let me know in that comment section below and please let me know your thoughts as well on this particular video